Hey folks, Fernando doing a video for the Monster Survivalist. I was just asked about my wallet. Which one is it? It's this one, which you guys have seen in previous videos regarding EDC. And I was asking if I've done a, a video review of my wallet. Uh, I, I don't think I have, so here it goes. Basically, I, I've liked different type of wallets over the years. This is one that I carried uh, for many years and you've seen in some of my older videos. This was with me for quite some time. And my taste has changed, but usually I like to have a couple things in a wallet. Um, I want to have a wallet that has the slots for the cards in this direction so that they don't fall accidentally from the wallet. I had a wallet that I liked a lot but it had the slots in that other direction and it happened to me many times that I accidentally dropped the cards once this got a little bit loose. So yeah that's something I'm you know in, in most of my wallets pretty much in all of them this is something that I'm looking for. Then I want to have a little pocket for some coins. I just find coins handy all the time and you know, when you're handed over pocket change but usually even if if not I try to keep a few coins in there just in case I have to pay something and it's just handy and more practical. Um, so I will have that in pretty much all my wallets in one form or, or another. And lately I, I'm more towards, looking towards more like a leather, so that's why I have this one. And of course I have cards that I want to show, but this is the exact same wallet. I like this one so much I got a spare. It's the same wallet just in brown and of course unused. But as you see it keeps together quite nicely. The stitching is very good. So in case you're wondering, here it goes. It's just a, a normal wallet with the slots like I just explained for those cards and it has several of them except this one. This one would be something I wouldn't be using for anything important because it could easily fall. But I have plenty of space there and in case you're wondering the brand is a local brand in Spain called Bachata you're never going to be finding anything like this around likely but that's the name and it just says it's handmade quality materials used yeah it's definitely good leather and it's well put together so if you find it I definitely do recommend it and you have a, a pocket like this for for your coins that's basically it now the thing I really like to talk about in this video is da, 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 this which I just got and I just learned about it if you guys knew about these before uh, shame on you for not mentioning in one of my EDC videos you know dude if you don't have it you definitely want to add this to your wallet and I leave the link for this in Amazon it's probably under a different brand name but it's basically the same thing so it's an RFID NFC blocking card I've known about the obviously the, the problem of um, if you're like in a mall a crowded space, airports, anything where there's people a little bit put together or crowded like that. It, it happens that someone approaches you with a scanner, they steal your card information, they clone the card and you're screwed. Happens also with your passport so yes it is a thing especially in crowded places and with these cards that can be read like so. Now I've known about the possibility of having a, a wallet that has um, a blocking shield so it protects your card there's slot there's like little envelopes for cards as well that shield those and I actually did a video about how to make your own blocking shield for your wallet using aluminum foil and tape you basically put it there where the money would be and it works like a shield protecting your your cards now this is something different and it's actually I think it's it's better uh, you get two cards uh, I think that the one I'll link there in Amazon also has two cards but it's like nine bucks ten bucks I mean and it works this way it's just a card just a normal card it has no battery nothing and it has a, it uses no battery no power and it, it, it kind of blocks this signal from anyone trying to read it up to a radius of like three centimeters a little bit over an inch on either direction so what you do is you have your wallet you put this in your wallet and of course it's well within that range you know you, you just put it there and yeah within that range is not going to be reading it, you, those cards are not going to be uh, read and you can easily verify this by, by making a purchase you know usually when you approach the wallet it already reads it now try that with with a card blocker it's going to be blocking the signal as you remove it you try it again and the supermarket whatever is you're, you're using your credit card it will actually be read and it effectively works like a blocking signal it's pretty awesome uh, I'm you know 
you know, as you always know, learn stuff along the way. I just learned about these, and if you're learning about these uh, as well, just give it a try. Definitely something you you want to have in your wallet, no doubt. Especially being something like as simple as this. It's just a normal card. There's really nothing about it. It has like a little, you know, antenna on the inside that does the blocking thing, but it makes no sense not to have one of these in your wallet guys it's gonna be all for now remember oh and your passport as well remember because that can be read as well so yeah one in your wallet one in your passport that's the way i would go about that that's gonna be all subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already see you in our next video have an awesome day